What is going on guys, Eagle Aquatics back here and in today's video I'm going to be coming at you with another reef tank update. A lot, a lot. I've gotten a lot of different stuff, a few new fish, new protein skimmer, a um, few new corals, and uh, I'm just going to be updating you on the tank so far. Uh, I'm just going to be going, I'm going to change my updates. I think uh, I'm just going to be going over the highlights of what's going good and changing my tank rather than everything in one video because it's kind of repetitive. Um, so I'm going to be going over all the new stuff and everything that's happened. First thing you'll notice, obviously, is a blue hippo tang right there. I had to have one in this reef tank. Uh, 125, six foot long. Uh, it should be enough room for this guy. He'll grow into the tank. He's a baby right now. Uh, so I'm super psyched to have this guy in the tank. Can't wait to watch him grow. He's going to look awesome. Um, took a risk. I don't quarantine my fish. Give me all the hate you want, but I'm not quarantining them. Uh, there's never, ever been a... None of the fish in this tank have ever had ick before. I bought this guy from a very trusted local fish store that quarantines their system and he's doing excellent so far. No signs of anything. I uh, even bought medicated fish food too, but I don't think I need to use it. So there he is. I'll make sure to keep you guys updated. He loves this nori seaweed too. He's eating and everything. Uh, let's see. The blue jaw triggerfish. Oh, and another thing you guys will notice. The purple tang is no longer. I got rid of him. Yep, he was a bully in this tank and uh, he just had to go. So I sold him. So he is gone, no longer in the reef tank. Like the fish, but just too aggressive for my taste. Um, so since then, the blue jaw trigger has gotten more comfortable in the tank. He's not as afraid of me anymore. He doesn't hide as often and he eats a lot. Uh, he's finally eating everything I throw in the tank. So super psyched about that. This fish is awesome, always wanted to keep one. And now he's doing good, so I can't wait to keep you guys updated on this guy. So let's move on. A few new coral. Here's a Birds of Paradise frag. Uh, not too much color now, but the local fish store that I bought it from has a huge colony of it. And this is off that colony, and the colony is absolutely wicked. I'll post a picture in the top of what it does look like. It's awesome. Awesome. Cool coral. Put it next to my other bird's nest. These are blue bird's nests. Doing pretty good. What else we got? We have this, Monopora. This is a orange, I'm not sure the exact uh, nickname of this guy. Uh, it's an encrusting Monopora. Orange with neon blue polyps. Looks completely awesome. It's gonna plate over that rock. Uh, look really, really good. Gonna be a spotlight. Uh, there's the one Chromis. The story on the Chromis I got this guy lonely from Petco. I, I was walking through Petco, seeing this guy all by himself. He was only six bucks, so I had to get him. Uh, and then the next day I went to buy three more uh, to increase uh, the school, make it more comfortable. And every day uh, after that, one kept dying. One, two, three, I lost them all. I don't know what happened to him. A lot of people encounter this problem with Chromis. Uh, I did, I don't know what happened to him. I don't know if they died. I think they died, um, but it's only the guy from Petco that's still alive. What a coincidence, jeez. Um, but like I always say, fish from Petco have to be tough, so this guy's the toughest, and he's doing excellent, completely excellent. So I'm, I think I'm just gonna leave him alone. Um, I don't know if I wanna add any more and risk losing more money, but liking this guy, he's doing great. Oh yeah. There's a new fish right up there. Boom. A baby porcupine puffer fish. Now before you guys say, oh my God, they're not reef safe. That's the worst fish you could put in a reef tank. I have heard way too many success stories on YouTube, on the forums, on everything of people having success with porcupine puffers in the reef tank. So I figured I'd play, roll the dice, get a baby one. This guy's only two inches. He's like barely bigger than my thumb. 
Uh, he doesn't really have much teeth yet. Um, haven't seen him go after anything. He eats like a pig already. So I think he's gonna do excellent in this tank. And I figured, why not try him? It's not a hard fish to catch, they're not fast. So if he does decide to eat any coral or go after anything, I could always net him out and give him back to the fish store or sell him. So I figured it's worth the risk. I love these guys, I always wanted to keep one and I think they're awesome. So uh, looking forward to seeing how this guy reacts in my tank. Loving him so far though. He's already got personality, follows my finger around. Um, here's another new coral, cool Aikens right here. I'm gonna turn this whole rock into an Aiken garden. I think it'd look awesome. Those are nice, wicked ones. A cool frag I got from my fish store. Really cool. There's that torch coral doing great. More of like a tan, white tip torch coral. Looking good. There is this Sierra Mist Welso. Looking excellent down there. He's a hungry, hungry coral. He's always got his sweeper tentacles exposed. I feed him a lot, so. Your uh, Pink Passion Zoas. Giving a shot at Zoas in this tank. Uh, I've never really been a huge fan, but I bought these because the color was cool and they're not very expensive. So I think I wanna, I'm liking them. Uh, I like the way they grow and look. I think I'm gonna turn this whole rock into a Zoa garden. I think it'll look pretty cool. Uh, so definitely looking forward to that. This anemone, on the other hand, I think I might get rid of this guy. I think I might sell him. Um, I don't know, I, I see this space being valuable for more coral. Uh, my clownfish doesn't really swim in him anymore. He more stays towards in these rocks and under that cave right there. Uh, he really doesn't utilize the anemone anymore for some reason. And uh, I don't know. This guy, he doesn't really bubble up that much, and he looks all right to me. I think uh, I could put cooler stuff there. He takes up a lot of real estate. I think I could get some money for him and then buy some more coral, take his spot. I think it'll look uh, cooler. And of course, gives me an excuse to buy more coral. So yeah, guys. Oh, also this pink Ganapora right here. He was on the other side of the tank. Didn't open for a week. Uh, because there's so much commotion over there. The blue jaw triggers always swimming around, the wrasse over there. I think it, they were bothering this guy. So he wasn't opening, so I moved him over here. He's looking great. Um, really one of my favorite corals in this tank. The colors are so intense on it. Uh, looks great. Uh, this mon red monopora cat. If you remember from the last update, I showed you guys this guy used to be totally bleached out from a blenny I had that ate him almost completely but he came back in this tank and he's encrusting. Looking awesome. Can't wait to see him grow in. All the euphelias doing great. Looking good under the lights. Um, and I think that's pretty much it as far as the livestock goes, guys. I did a 15, I've been doing a 15 gallon water change every week just to keep up with the new tank. Uh, no algae, I haven't seen any nuisance algae so far, coral line is growing extremely good and fast. Um, I had a little bit of red cyano at the beginning, but it disappeared. Um, but yeah, ultra low nutrients in this tank currently, I'm trying to keep it that way by starting with doing water changes every week. I think that might work. So let's go on to, down to the sump, show you guys my new skimmer. So here is the new skimmer. This is a Reef Octopus Diablo. 160 XS Space Saver um, needle wheel uh, protein skimmer. Now the reason I changed mine out, I did not like the Aqua C. Uh, just old technology, didn't work to the magnitude I wanted it to, um, Wasn't just wasn't too happy with it. So I'm trying to sell that currently and I picked this guy up. Now this is an older model protein skimmer. You will not find this for sale anymore. I bought it off Craigslist, got a great deal. This thing is like brand new. Uh, it's big enough for my tank, exactly what I wanted. Uh, it's ran by a CJ 600 gallon 
for our needle wheel pump or protein skimmer. The reason there's no skim aid in there right now, I just cleaned it because I just did the water change today. But as you can see, there's already more starting to go. I love this thing, it is excellent. Uh, completely, completely happy with this thing. It's uh, easy to fine tune, creates a million micro bubbles and it does a really, really good job. Super happy with this. So that's definitely an upgrade for this tank. Uh, I'm thinking it'll perform extremely good. As for the refugium, it's doing decent. Um, the Chato is growing uh, decently quickly. It doesn't grow that fast, probably because I don't have the highest quality light on here. But it is growing. It is not dying or anything. You could see it. A few pieces that fell off the main ball growing upwards looking good this stuff is doing fairly good you can see there is some red cyano in here so I put a power head a uh, high door small power head in here uh, to give it some current because that cyano is only growing because there's not that much water movement in the refugium uh, so that gives way to red cyano growth so I put a power head in there and stopping it. These are just pieces I've collected that fall off and get stuck in these egg crates over here. Uh, so why not grow them in a little a breeder box? Um, over here, I'm, put, I'm running some carbon right now. Clear out my water a little bit more. And uh, it's, looking, it's looking really good. I may upgrade this light in the future. Uh, I gotta save up a little bit of money. I want one of those Zet lights the Zet like refugium lights, I think that'll work good. Um, make the Cheo grow a little bit faster. But as for now, it's working and it's staying alive. So yeah guys, that has been an update on the 125 gallon reef tank. Uh, let me know what you guys think about the new fish, uh, the corals, how you guys are liking the tank so far. If you got any questions of any, kind leave them in the comments i answer all of them uh, let me know what you guys think about the tank follow me on instagram at eagle aquatics uh, for exclusive content on this tank and my others and uh i'll see you next time guys